Hey folks, thanks for joining me today on this little bonus yeah, mini nice. like easy soloing strategies. Um, and I love the term easy as many of you know. Easy in the sense that, hey, it's just a few concepts being applied. It's not blazing all over the neck. It's just in a consolidated area of the fretboard. Um, of course, you could take it a lot further and get fancy, but the demonstrations are generally easy. And the idea is to create a lot of music out of just very simple tools. Uh, so I'm gonna use the classic song, Misty. I know many of you have already learned my solo arrangement. This is an Errol Garner composition. Beautiful tune, you know. Uh, play Misty for me. We all love this song. And if you see the lead sheet, which I'll attach, it may look a little bit tricky, but I'm going to just show you again. Check out my PDF, of course, for this part one, face value. And it's mainly just kind of hitting, you see the chord, you play the triad. <laughs> but I am simplifying a little bit, and that's kind of what the strategies are about, is how to simplify your thinking. In part two, though, I am going to demonstrate some substitutions. But again, this one is just face value. For example, one thing that you can do that I think is important, if you see a, a one to the six chord, E flat major, we're in the key of E flat. So E flat major to C minor. You could just play it all as E flat major. You just think off the one chord because essentially they're the same. See a two five, say example, uh, F minor seven to B flat seven, that's a two five. You could just think off of F minor triad. And then you can add in the flat seven and the six. And that kind of essentially becomes a two five lick demonstration. I'll go through all three of these routes on the top three strings. And this is triads for Misty part one. Just a quick demonstration here. Let's get started. Okay, so first for route one, I'm just gonna show you the basic shapes. And again, I recommend that you go back to triad study number one if you need to memorize and learn these inversions because that's you know where you should begin. But again, here is the application once you've already done those and, studies. You know, I think it's a great way to reinforce these shapes just by doing this method to every song. E flat major. Now for the next measure, B flat minor, that's supposed to be a 2-5 going to the 4 chord, but we're just playing just a minor triad off of B flat minor. So E flat major, and then B flat minor. We're not going to worry about the E flat 7, we'll let the B flat minor take care of that. And then for the next measure, we have A flat major, that's the 4 chord, and then the minor 4 chord, A flat minor. And that's the first 4 bars, and back to E flat. And then to F minor, and instead of the B flat 7, we won't worry about it. And then G minor, that's the 3 chord. And then it's supposed to go to C7, we're not going to worry about that, or C minor 7, depending on what kind of 6 chord you want. And then back to F minor, and then it's supposed to go to B flat 7, we're just staying F minor. Isn't that nice? So let me do that again. 3, 4, 3, 4. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, and then now we would be on the next E flat inversion right here with the flat. Just a quick demonstration. I'll go further into it in detail in some bonus videos and of course in the upcoming workshop, which I hope you consider signing up for easy soloing strategies. Okay, here's route number two, starting here on E flat major. Three, four. And just get used to holding the chords, getting the right shape, A flat major. Let's move on to route number three. 
expression. 